Do you know that the share of global electricity supply provided by renewables could reach 30% by 2035? But the remaining 70% will have to be met by conventional sources of energy like nuclear power, coal, oil and gas. However, these 70% supplies are finite. Their costs are to rise and the impact of their use to the climate is catastrophic. So, for the time being, an efficient renewable energy such as solar system is the best solution. Having this in mind, we had developed an off-grid solar house in Electrical Engineering Department of Polytechnic Malimau as a main player in technical, vocational education and training TVET in Malaysia, we had fully utilized our expertise and resources to make this happen. The development is also in concurrent with Polytechnic Malaysia transformational plan which targeted to have a niche program on research, innovation and entrepreneurship. With the development, we may also contribute to become a source of reference in the use of solar energy for citizens of polytechnics and also other parties such as schools and higher education institutions. The development also contributes towards the growth of lecturers' competency on solar energy and of course, further outcome of this will produce employable and entrepreneurial graduates specializing in solar energy which have been identified by NKEA having more than 57,000 of job vacancy by the year of 2020 which is only five years ahead. Okay now, what is solar energy? Solar energy is simply energy provided by the sun. This energy is in the form of solar radiation which makes the production of solar electricity possible. Electricity can be produced directly from photovoltaic or shall we call PV cells. Photovoltaic literally means light and electric. Photovoltaic, photo means light and voltaic means electric. These cells are made from materials which exhibit the photovoltaic effect. That is, when sunshine hits the PV cells, the photons of light excite the electrons in the cell and cause them to flow, generating electricity. There are two types of solar energy system, that is, an off-grid and on-grid solar system. Now, what is the difference between these two? In an off-grid solar system, 100% of the energy is generated from solar panel. An off-grid system gives you the ability to operate separately from the utilities because you are producing your own power and do not have to pay for your electric bill every month. Okay, now, as for the on-grid solar system, the system are linked with power utilities which enables the home to use the power generated by the solar system as well as the power from the local utility. This system can also feed power back to the grid during times of low usage and high production. The solar house developed in Polytechnic Malimau is an off-grid type. The house is of 3 feet by 12 feet size. The misconception of lots of people is that the size of solar panel and its cost depends on the size of their homes, when in fact, it is not. The size of the solar panel and its cost actually depends on how much the average electricity usage is and the solar resource in the respective location. With these entire variables taken into consideration, then only we are able to get an estimate on how many solar PVs and batteries to be installed. Talking about the location, Malaysia receives about 6 hours of sunshine per day. Malaysia's location near the equator is conducive to the production of solar energy. As we made the house to be a practical off-grid solar house prototype, we had placed both AC and DC appliances in the house. The AC appliances includes a television, a ceiling fan and a wall fan, while the DC appliances are six downlights. 
this is our pre-installation calculation. The calculation shows that the system could power all the AC and DC appliances by having a total of 2.3 kilowatt energy. In looking at our power needs, we had calculated that our solar system requires 4 units of batteries and 10 units of PV panels. This is our equipment list. The equipment includes 1040 watts solar panels, a MPPT charger controller, an inverter, 450 AH batteries, approximately two rows of solar cable and battery connectors. We did most of the installation ourselves painstakingly and with much trial and error but yet we enjoy every step of it now let's see how the system works the energy harvested from the solar panels is put into the charger controller the charger controller has the capability to increase the incoming current from the solar PVs by 30 to 40 percent. The output of the charger controller is supplied to charge the batteries. The output is also directly giving supply to the DC appliances, that is the downlight. The inverter connects to the batteries and the home central power panels to supply energy to our AC appliances which are the television, wall fan and ceiling fan. We also had collected the test data to see how much power is coming in from the panels and how full the batteries are. We've seen as high as 53 volts coming in during very sunny times at midday. We were also pretty happy to see how much power comes in even when it's cloudy or rainy from one ten to one fourth of the full power. We were happy to find that our calculation were accurate but we did get worried a few times when it comes to morning and found the batteries are very low as evidenced by the blinking of red light at the charger controller. But invariably, by noon or mid-afternoon, the batteries get back to green. We had started to develop this project in 2011 and complete the solar house by 2012. For the past years, we have received visitors from Iran, China and Brunei for education benchmarking on green technology. We had also made a series of trainings to the staff and students of Polytechnic Melimau on solar energy by utilizing the solar house as our medium of training. Ladies and gentlemen, along the way, when we are doing our research in the solar energy, we had came across many groups of beautiful people who had brought the off-grid solar energy system to light homes in Africa, Laos, Cambodia, China and many other rural residential areas all over the world where the grid power utilities costs are too high to power their homes. This project had inspired us so much to make the off-grid solar house in PMM a reality. These are the kind of people that we want to produce, a graduate that have additional values and skills that can contribute back to the society in needs. With the realization of the off-grid solar house in PMM, we are on the right track to make this happen. We are proud to present to you the off-grid solar house in Polytechnic Melimau.